uh, finally getting around to making the video. I've been meaning to make it a, a couple of times, but uh, we're finally here. Uh, so I think you wanted to see how it is that I did the uh, the clone video I did. Uh, let me turn that off. There we go. All right. So, uh, to begin with, uh, in order to do a clone effect, um, you, you typically want to work with a tripod, especially if you're filming yourself. Um, if not, you want to make sure your grid lines and everything are lined up like perfectly if you're going to do it moving. But I would say start out with a tripod. So you can see here, um, I have my tripod set up where I wanted to be set up and everything I shot, whether I stopped the camera or not, it was shot from the same position. So the scene is, you know, already set. So you can see one time I'm walking that way. One time I'm walking the other way. All right. And so now what you pay attention to is how I have it stacked. So you can see I have stacks. Obviously the audio is on the bottom. But this top clip, you can see, um, why is it not only showing the top clip? It should only be showing the clip that I'm hovering over. Uh, it's probably because it's a compound clip. Let me figure out why is it not showing my top clip? Okay. Oh, that's why, because I, I have it masked already. So if I turn the mask off, that's what it is. Okay. All right. So if you can see, um, the main thing you're going to have to use here is, is masks, where it's a shape mask or whether you draw it. And I actually use both of them in this video, so I, I can show you both of them. So this bottom clip. So it's tough to actually explain. All right, we're going to get it together. All right. At any rate, I took multiple shots of me coming from different directions, and I, and I have to utilize the mass in order to only show that part of the video. To only show that part of the video when it comes up. So if I don't have this mask on, as you can see, when I turn it on, you can see it, it goes away. And we're still over here. So what I did was, I did a mask. So when I turn that mask off, and that's on this top clip. So when I turn the mask off, only this top clip is showing. But when I turn the mask on, now this top clip, it's only showing this section of the video. So that way the bottom clip can show through, if that makes sense. So I did a shape mask and I'll try to do a new one. So let me turn this one off and let me do a new mask. Just type in mask down here and you see it's just a regular shape mask. And so I'm doing it on this top clip, right? So if you see, if I move it around, you see how it shows that top clip is showing what part of the clip I want to show. So in order to get that bottom clip to show through, you can see I adjusted this to only this section. So I'm going to undo that. And that is how I got this, this mask right here. So I'm only showing this part of the top clip which is me coming in from the right hand side of the car. And since I'm on a tripod, the setting stays the same as far as where the car is positioned. Uh, and it looks like it's one cohesive video. That's the importance of the tripod. Um, and so you basically apply that same principle throughout the whole video. And you can see my mask is still the same for this top clip. Once I come here, it's still the same video clip. You can see it's C0407. 
it's still the same clip. I'm just taking different parts of that clip and making my own story out of it. You can make it in any order that you want. So you can see at this point over here, I'm getting in the car. This bottom clip. And I think honestly what I did was I didn't even, um, I just kept the camera rolling and I just cut it up to where say this part of the clip I'm on the left side of the car. I, I put which pieces of that clip that I wanted in the correct place and then just made the whole story. Um, so I knew that I wanted to come from the left hand side of the car with this part of the clip. And now I'm going back into the car. So a lot of it is a little bit of forethought of before you even start filming, you know, so what do I want? What actions do I want to begin this clone effect for this particular video? It was just me getting in and out of the car and just showing that I have the capability to do the clone effect. Now, when you get to this part, again, it's still the same clip. Let me turn the. And you can see on this one, I use the draw mask because what I had to do is. Uh, show, how do I show the mask? There we go this one I had to kind of draw around it and move it frame by frame to come with me because I'm a moving subject past I'm a moving subject past this this point so as I come across you can see eventually this whole mass is going to start to shift and you can see every frame you can see how it's shifting and then it's gonna, it should start going with me. Okay, so you see it now. Keyframes kind of didn't quite work. Uh, only because it was very precise, precise movements. So I really did have to draw it and expand it out. And another concern I had at this point in the video was the lights. So it had to look somewhat natural. So that's why I, I chose to draw it and make that mask pretty big. And it appeared like the red lights were expanding out. So if I play it in faster motion, you'll see. So, you know, it wasn't the best. It wasn't the best, if you will. But for this, you know, just to practice it, it helped. So that that is a consideration I didn't take beforehand how the light um how unlocking the car would affect the video so the light the light there now for this part um the part of me walking into myself uh i was trying to do it to where i literally walked into myself like this one was going backwards and this one was going forward but it was challenging once i got to the car so what i decided to do and be creative is i walked it backwards to a certain point right before the car and then I stopped it and then this one kept going because I knew it was going to uh, go into it so all I did was actually reverse the clip so this part of the clip uh, was me walking forward I took that same clip and reversed it right here and you can see again I used that keyframe and I'm pretty sure I reversed this clip let me see I'm pretty sure I reversed this clip. Obviously, it's reverse, right? But right now, I'm I'm drawing a blank on how to show. How to show that? I know you do it right here, and you just do reverse clip. Oh, okay. You can see it's set to negative one hundred, so that means I I reversed it. Um, but normally there's a little animation thingy here that shows it's reversed. So all I did was I took this same clip and I reversed it towards the latter end right here so i chopped it probably like right here and then i re reversed the clip and that's why it's in front here so if you go frame by frame you can see i'm walking backwards and let me show yeah let me show that mask again it's a draw mask because i wanted it just on that section of the video and i'm going backwards that's essentially it uh these bottom layer clips are essentially pieces of the clip where th I wasn't in the shot, if that makes sense. I was not in the shot 
on these bottom layers so that the car would always be there in the middle. And the draw mask on these ones are really just for my body. You see, I hope that makes sense. These draw masks are really just for following the motion of my body. And the bottom clip is for leaving the car where it is. Because I did eventually draw off at one point. And this is where I had to draw out my whole body. Using, again, I use the draw mask. So if you come down here, you can see the draw mask is right there. And you can see that's what it looks like. That mask looks like when I drew it. It's just my body so that the rest of the shot is black. You can invert the mask if you invert the mask. And I use beeline spine because you can curve it. Linear is it's a lot. You can't really curve it as much. Beeline spine allows you to curve the line as you're drawing it. So if I could mention is on these masks, uh, you want to make sure that it is <clears throat> composite and not original because original will show just uh, kind of your mask and what's going on there in that video make sure you have composite that way it'll show a, a full view of all of your your masks and, and etc and um, also the when you are getting into the draw masks uh, Let's see, like for instance here, what I was doing here on this draw mask. Uh, I think I may have said it wrong here, but beeline is a little bit different than what I said before. I think it's Belzier that allows you to really, no, 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 I was correct. I was actually correct. So it is, it is uh, beeline that allows you to kind of curve it like that. Uh, the more you zoom in, if I can get maybe to 100, and the more you zoom in, you can see how you can really curve that line, like I was saying before. So I was correct. Uh, I just I didn't zoom in to show you that exact uh, mask. But yeah, uh, two important points again, composite and uh, beeline and not linear. Play around with it. Beeline spine again is the one you want to use if you want to kind of curve. Uh, it's it's a it's a conjunction between these two. So um, once I this is backing up, and then this is just a steal. So I captured that uh, that last frame here. This last frame. What you can do is. You can go over here to share, export file, sorry, share, uh, it's not here. You can probably add the destination and save current frame. I need to add that anyway. I think it went away. I had to do some stuff to my Final Cut Pro, but save current frame is what I did. And you can export it to any one. I probably did uh, PNG or JPEG would be the best for this situation and that's literally what this is it's just that last frame and then I um, dragged it out to make it longer so it's literally just one frame and it comes in probably about this long and then I just dragged it out so that's how I got that still to stay there throughout that portion of the video and as far as effects uh, I just did something with the white balance uh black and white i just added an effect to make it look a different color once that frame came in so again you can see i'm walking backwards and then bang there's a frame and then i walk into it and i cut the frame out i cut the frame out so i stopped it right there so that way the frame is no longer there but now the video takes over you can see right there the frame goes away as i step into it blam that's the perfect point where i walk into it and then the rest is just a video so that's why it looked like you know I, I walked into that stopping motion and then went through so yeah i mean that's that's the basics of it uh that's pretty simple and then to accomplish this the disappearing act it's it's, it's literally the same thing 
I just used a shape mask. So again, ahead of time, I filmed, I filmed this section with no car going through, nothing, no motion. I had to make sure no cars were coming. And that's the bottom most, that's the bottom most, um, image there. And then what are these down here? It's probably repeats of the same thing. I had to do a couple of different shape masks here, I believe, so that it so that it would uh, one is following the car and, and one is following this area here. Uh, the shape mask really may f make it difficult to see. So if I didn't have that shape mask, you can see what happens. See there? You see my car. But the shape mask I drew is of one of the original videos where there was no car going through. And I just I just kept the shape mask where it was for the most part. And so that what that's what makes the car disappear. The original video of me not having anything there. Um, and so you just have to kind of practice that. You just kind of have to practice, you know, playing around with the shape mask. Uh, for this particular video, I didn't really use a lot of key frames because um, it was just a little bit more difficult to do because I did have to follow and trace my body. Um, and yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, man. I hope that makes sense. All right. So now we'll just show the entire video uh, just so you can see what it looks like. And there we go. there you have it that's the clone effect i hope this video was helpful and um yeah that's that's how you do the clone effect until next time see you